terrifying scene at Ralston High School earlier today. Police swarmed the school after a call of a gunman at the school. They determined the threat was not credible. However, students tell reporter Megan Stewart the experience was terrifying. 3 News Now reporter Megan Stewart is live at Ralston High School with the details. Hey, Craig and Jen, we watched here earlier today as students poured out of the school and parents raced around trying to get to their kids. But police tell us it was all for nothing and that 911 caller may face charges. They just said go on like a normal day, but I don't think I don't know how anyone could. Ralston sophomore Lexi Hansen says she was terrified this afternoon, thinking a gunman was in her school. But the lockdown training she's had since kindergarten took over. And we just barricaded into the corner. We didn't really have anything to defend ourselves besides like staplers and like a uh, tape holder. I'm really like surprised at how fast all of us sprung into action. I'm really Senior Chris Reisdorf also barricaded inside a room with classmates while waiting to hear from officials. I'm really proud of us and I think everyone else who was in that class should really be proud of themselves too. While we were searching the building, we had officers down in the, in the office with the administration. Uh, checking video, checking cameras. Also, the person that made the phone call was located. Uh, through that investigation, it was determined that it was a false threat. Police say the 911 caller could face charges. We've had minor similar circumstances, but nothing to this extent, no. She's my world, aren't you? Hansen's grandmother says she's thankful Lexi is safe, but the pair, along with many others, are still shaken up over the ordeal. So they could leave if uh, they were uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I just don't think I can stay in class anymore. I just can't. School officials say the 911 call was made during lunch, and that's when it's harder to keep track of students because they're not all in the classrooms. Reporting live out here in Ralston, Megan Stewart, 3 News Now.